Recording in progress. Satnam, everyone. It's Candice from Soulfire Social. I'm just going to step back and we will get started with our class today. Uh, if you weren't with me on Wednesday, please grab yourself a bolster. If you have blocks as well, you can grab them. Ceci's going to help us get into our first posture when we get to the Kriya and show us how really to make sure we can enjoy the first the first posture of the Kriya. It's always good. We have so many wonderful, like, specialists in our, in our awesome crew here who get to help us. But let's come on first into our easy pose. Get real comfortable. And you want to make sure you might want to be using the bolster here because then we're going to go into an 11-minute pranayama. Um, a little more of a mellow day today, but certainly no less impactful, I hope, for that mind-body spirit connection. So let's just close the eyes and relax into this space, into our space, arriving on our mats, and just becoming conscious of our breath. We've arrived. Feel your sitting bones connect, visualize your roots reaching down that full Mother Earth. Engage your jaw and Aravanda so the crown reaches towards the heavens. And then let's bring our hands out in front of us, rubbing the palms together vigorously, creating that warmth and that heat. And then bring that heat right into your heart center with a prayer pose, connecting at the sternum, fingers up and out. Relax into it. Let's take a cleansing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's inhale to tune in. Um. So if we inhale here, just gently in, and make it all the way 
nice you can feel bringing that fresh prana all the way out through the nose. Then you hold it out. And we start with eight pumps and you're mentally chanting hard. We know that's God, I'm calling on God, infinite consciousness. So I hold the breath out and I pump eight times. Then I, and I see how that feels. And then I inhale and I exhale. And you start to increase the amount of hearts. And you really see how many you can get in on that exhale. So you're really working by the end, you know, and not, you know, obviously you can pump a lot faster too, but you know, and it does say to pump vigorously. Like you are really working on pulling in and out that navel as you're mentally chanting hard. Um, and so, you know, see how many counts you can get to. It's an 11 minute meditation. We're gonna do the whole thing, this pranayama, and it's about connecting into your source of infinite energy. And it says, you know, if we're not strong in our third chakra, because obviously this is working on the navel and like our warrior spirit, we can totally get out of alignment and get pulled in a multitude of different directions, right? If you're not confident and able to stand strong and what you believe in your heart to speak your truth, right? That's where this, this fire drives that. So this is just really allowing to, us to connect with the infinite energy there so we can be more in balance and follow what, what we're meant to be doing as we step out into our daily lives. So let's go ahead and uh, remember if you need to, you know, bring the arm down a little bit, just keep your mudra. So Dion mudra, left thumb and index, right is thumb and ring, and sun, settle into it. Let's do the first one together. Inhale, exhale, hold the breath out, pump the navel eight times, mentally chanting, ha, 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 ha. When you're done with eight, inhale, all the way up all the way out start increasing your numbers it's up to you totally personal entire time counting you can also just pump as many times as you can it's not about keeping track of the count but do as many vigorously as you can
minute and 40 seconds left. Hard. Definitely use your heart. Find your strength. Infinite energy in your navel. drop down with the arms and the breath. Let the fingertips touch the earth on either side. You are the central channel and just sit with that energy for a moment. I'm taking this in. We are not mentally connected with our own energy and inner flow. That's the disconnect from the third chakra. It causes us to lean on external energies rather than being powered through the chakras by our own. So connecting to our own source of energy and igniting it. So breathing in, just being conscious of that yellow fiery navel and solar plexus. Spreading and sharing energy through the other chakras. Remember that point around the navel, that initial source of connection to the mother, so much, so many beautiful nodis emanating from this point in our being. Shamans call this the God hole, the connection to infinite, not from the heart, not from the crown, but shamans call that the connection. That's where we're in flow. It's from your navel connecting up. It's also where we stuff things in it that we don't want to look at. And it's clearing out that space and coming into flow. So just something to think about. Let's flip our palms. <clears throat> Inhale, sweep up through the electromagnetic field. Let's clear out any stuff. We got a lot of power, a lot of energy there. Touch the palms at the top. Extra sip, rounded lips. Reach, 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 hold the breath. Eye focus goes from the brow point to the crown and above. And then let's bring that energy down. Slow exhale. Through the upper chakras. Down to your heart where we full exhale completes. Connect 
Breathe in through the nose. Let that prayer rise, connected to the sternum. Filling up all around the heart space. Flip the prayer. Bring it down. Bring it down. Just going to do a couple of warm-ups first. So let's go ahead and come standing and wake ourselves up just a little bit here before we get into conquering depression. So we're really working on bringing us into a space of much more light. Let's see what I've got. Mm -hmm. Feet a little more than hip width distance apart. Let's just do some fantastic miracle bends. Rising up, gentle tilt in the back. Exhale, bend from the waist down. Let the hands drop, let the head drop. Inhale up. Just flow at your own pace. together and then we're going to swing and reach up and over get that nice stretch in the side body the opposite hand comes down as far as you can on the leg down past the knee yes beautiful <clears throat> inhaling exhaling through the nose get all the stretch you need all the way through the fingertips. Come 
come to the center, bring the feet out a little bit wider this time, and let's just open up into just a lovely little triangle. And we're gonna exhale, touch the opposite toe, stretch that opposite hand up, and look up over the shoulder. Inhale up, right in the center, and exhale down. Just crossing toes. sweep up. Really reaching. Palms touching. There's pressure. Extra sip. Rounded lips. Reach, 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 reach. Open the hands so the palms are facing out. This time, exhale. Sigh. Ah, sweep. Expand. Clear. All the way. All the way down. Connect with the thighs. Flip the palms. Inhale through the nose. All the way up again. Eye focuses on the third eye as we do this. Palms touch. Extra sip. Rounded lips. <sighs> Gaze goes above. Through the crown. Out, out, out. And then we manifest down. Exhale through the nose. Slow. Prayer comes. Peace, intuition, truth, compassion. Another sip here at the heart. Flip it and down. Okay, come on down and we're going to have Miss Ceci show you how to set up. I will give you the option. So it is a five minute wheel. I know that that's not appropriate for me. So Ceci's going to show us how to set up to be in a posture where we can take advantage as much as possible of the wheel posture but not having to have the pressure for five minutes. So we thank Sassy. <laughs> okay. So if you have blocks and you need more height, you uh, would put them where the uh, sacrum is and the shoulder blade. And then here also go about uh, that. So if you have the blocks, you can put them under the bolster to get more lift or use two bolsters or put a blanket there or another pillow. You can see kind of what we're doing. We're just lifting as much as we can so we are able to open more. Okay. Now I'm coming here? Yeah. Okay. So I'm coming. I want to get the back of my shoulders. Is that no, right? You want to get there. You know. So if you want to be hanging a slide yet so the head can uh, rest back. If that's too much for your cervical um, spine, you can always place something underneath it. Okay. Is that better for you? It's better for me, yeah. Okay. And then um, you're looking for this, the extension of the soles and then the extension of the arms and opening the armpit. And so you might have to play with your height. Um, How's that for you? That feels great. And then, and then since you also said, because obviously there's the 
pull with the hands and the hands hand. So if you want that right sissy, then I yeah. can do this. I can engage my, my wrists for part of it and open up. I personally really feel like I need that opening just like this through here and through here. So that's going to be really good for me today. Um, you can also, since you were showing, you can like lay over uh, like your couch or something, your sofa if you have to. We just thought that might be a lot to show, but yes. yeah. And okay. then the only other thing is if your sacrum, when you do this, feels compressed, um, you can rotate your inner thigh out. So I'm just going to grab yeah. kind of the uh, leg and you rotate it. And uh, so my hand rotates the hip bone, the, the femur bone. And you don't have to go vision mode per se, but how's that? Good. It opens a little more? Yeah, and we are going to be doing work with the knees in and out in the okay. next exercise, so that's perfect. Thank you, Ceci. Yeah. All right, so everybody's in their posture, really opened up. We're here for five minutes, okay? And let Ceci get, get set up so she can enjoy as well. <laughs> Okay. I'm still trying to decide if I loved or hated that first song. <laughs> All right, get set up. And. Okay. And while you're breathing, I want you to listen to this mantra, Pavan Guru. It's talking about the breath as the guru. We're going to be doing a meditation on that at the end that I absolutely love. And your breath here is going to be in through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. You breathe slowly with a deep, full inhale and a deep, full exhale. Your breath is the guru.
Pavan. P A B A N. It's your breath. You have another minute. It is your teacher. It helps us come from that darkness to light. Let the breath teach you. That's a wonderful way to do wheel. The Kriya that we have just begun is for conquering depression, for getting in and finding more light. Opening up here through the full of this front body. Let's take an inhale. Hold the breath, and for the first time today, squeeze in on the mula bandha, anus, sex organs, up and in, holding in that pavan, calling on the wahe guru, navel to the spine, breath is held, energy coming up all the way from the root to the crown. Slow release. You might want to keep your bolster handy. We're coming up into a shoulder stand and we're going to be dropping our feet behind us. Okay, so there will be, I'm going to use this, there will be support from the hands, but basically what I'm doing, I'm coming up. This is the kind of official posture. My toe comes back to touch behind my head. Then it comes up. You do not want to be doing this, looking at your screen. So you want to look at the screen now and then get in your posture because you do not want to be moving your head when you're doing this. So it's going to be an exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, Inhale up. Options. I'm in a waterfall and I just bring my legs back towards my head and I allow myself that movement. If you can't come all the way down, that's okay too, right? So just do your best. We're in this posture for three minutes and again, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Make sure you're supported, chin towards the chest. Good posture, everybody. Inhale, nose, exhale, mouth. Exhale so that leg comes back up.
stand, perfect your posture, make sure lower back is really protected there. You feel good about this, legs are straight, inhale, squeeze Mula Bandha here, navel to the spine, you direct the flow of energy. When you release, make it slow, protect the back, slowly feeling each of the vertebrae as they come back down, connect with your mat, slow wins the race here, really, really slow. Legs are going to come out straight, we are lying on our backs. Palms are by the side, facing down. Next posture is for an adjustment to the sacrum and the lower back. Okay, so the legs are out straight. So in one movement, it's like an inhale, you roll the right knee out to the right, then the left knee out to the left. On the exhale, you bring them back and roll them towards the center. So it's a out and in, out and in. You're literally just letting, they don't have your feet, but they can be a little bit, a little bit separated. They're straight out, but that inhale, and then exhale, they come into center. Inhale out, exhale, bring them to center. Really focusing just for a moment on those knees. And then we're going to bring the attention to the breath being strong at the navel and really in flow with this movement, okay? And um, we're going to do, let me just pull this up. Yeah, we're here for, here for some time. Your breath now is nose, nose, no mouth involved. After the first minute, we're going to really speed up. So just get your meditation and your movement this first minute.
Start to slow it down. Very intentional turns, knees, breath.
Take an inhale here. Let go with a big sigh. And roll yourself onto your back. And I invite you for seven minutes to simply sleep into the sounds to let your body go to just focus on nothing more than your beautiful breath coming in and out
you want to slowly breathe. Inhale. Release with a sigh. Slowly connecting back to the body. Fingers one by one. Touch the thumb. Index. Saturn. Right? Feel through your mudras. Start to make circles, wrists and ankles. And bring the arms up over the head, big breath. Fresh prana, pavan, coming in, light below the light. Exhale, release. Ha, Bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a mighty hug. This Kriya tries to displace insecurity and fear with light and love. Rocking around side to side, lower back release. And then up and down the spine, all of that beautiful energy you created and integrated. And rock yourself up into your easy pose. And just sit with that energy for a moment. Our mantra for the day, Pavan, P-A-V-A-N, breath, Guru, from darkness to light. The mantra is Pavana, Pavana, and it's just Pavan, but it's like Pavana. Pavana, 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 Paraparai, Wahe Guru. That's it. It's simple. But we're going to do a beautiful celestial communication with it because they're just my faves and they feel real good. So, Pavan, when we're doing this, we're bringing the air and it's like you're just bringing it. Pavan, 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 Pavan. Then we cut it out. Padapada, Pavan Guru. Then you take your hands to the side. Pavan Guru, Wahe Guru. Wahe Guru. <laughs> I think I need to put it up. We're going to go like that, and then we're going to come like this right down to the center. And then we're going to go like this. We'll do it with the music because I'll get it wrong the first time. But it's just, you're bringing in the breath, right? We're bringing in the breath. We're making the space in our heart. We're grounding ourselves here. We're opening ourselves up. And then we manifest right down into your beautiful heart. So, let's try it. We'll look the first time we do it. Okay? Let's get ready. Oh, 
Inhale, we bring our hands onto our heart for the long time. Sun, first round. Sing it to yourself. Feel your vibration. You open up the palms to face each other, connecting through the others, through this room. We send our long time sun to each other. We raise our hands up on the last round. We send some love and light out to the collective. Maybe an opportunity here to tap not into your own energy, the energies of this full moon as well as we're shifting towards the equinox, towards this transition back in to more light. Let's bring that in. More love, more light.
bringing the prayer over the head, holding the breath as we reach up, male beings, no peace. Male yoga practice, contribute to the well-being of all. We exhale, manifesting back down through the chakras. You can join me. Peace to all, light to all, truth to all, and love to all. We'll bow down, giving thanks to Mother Earth and Father Sky, blessing you, blessing your prayers, thanking you for joining together again for always fascinating sessions together. I look forward to it every single day. Let's rise up and greet one another with a Satnam. Satnam, Sessi, Satnam, Jenna. We thank Sessi for helping with the postures and let's send a little long time uh, love and light. We've got Jenna who's got an 18 hour drive to Iowa. I know Nancy's got a long drive today down to a uh, marathon. So for everybody who's traveling and on the road, we just, uh, we send you some love and light for those travels. Um, I think we got enough of it too. We got enough to go around. Satnam. All right.